Hi, this is Thomas for Kyle Malaszewski Humidors, and today we're going to talk about the use of the Cigar Oasis XL uh, humidifier, the electronically controlled one, and just a brief overview of how we use it. Let me go ahead and open the model up, and you'll notice we've already attached the uh, AC cord to the wall, and the ribbon comes through here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the center console. And the humidifier is in this chamber in the back that we've set up with slots on both sides and on the top. And as you'll see, it's right here. Currently, it has a, uh, a battery cable. You can take this battery attached cable and put it right in here. And when you do, you'll see it automatically fires up. And it's factory preset at 70. You may be able to hear it. It just turned on. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. That's how easy it is to add the battery. The AC cable that's plugged into the wall goes into the same hole at the top back and when it's plugged into the wall will also automatically turn on. Okay. Now I'm going to unplug this real quick. When you receive the uh, humidifier it's going to come in uh, three parts. The top part is the fan with the uh, electronic microprocessor. The middle section is the water holder. There's another part we can remove here just like we slid this one off which is the uh, battery compartment. I'll take that off. And it holds six AA batteries. So obviously you can operate the unit in either AC mode or battery. Now when you first get this model you're going to have two holes here on top of the water compartment and they'll have little plugs in them. And I think I had the plugs off to the side here. It comes pre-filled with water so you don't need to add water originally. Just uh, additional water can be added every six to eight weeks. You simply take the battery compartment off like I just did so you just have the water compartment and you just uh, soak it, make sure it's underneath of the water where these holes are underneath the water and let it sit there in a, uh, a pan or a pot for about four minutes, uh, five to be sure. And that four minutes it'll fill up the inside here with enough water. But again, th these two things, uh, these two holes do come plugged so you want to absolutely make sure that you take them out before the unit operates or you won't get any humidity. And once you've done that, and just a side note, make sure it's distilled water that you're filling with, not just tap water. Go ahead and uh, put the uh, top part back on. Oh, make sure I got it right here. The microprocessor fan unit. So you've got your battery, your water compartment, and your microprocessor unit. Now in this particular model we're still seasoning it and we like to use the AC for the seasoning versus the battery because it runs a lot more while it tries to get up to speed. We're going to leave it factory set at 70 and we're just going to put it down here in this chamber and let it run. Now some people will advise you that you should wipe down the entire humidor with uh, like fresh distilled water to help it uh, reach its level of humidity the desired level of humidity that you wish to have, the 65, the 70, or what have you. Uh, but we prefer to just put this unit in here and, and let it sit for 96 hours at 70% relative humidity and let this thing naturally work itself up to the proper humidity. Uh, we don't like to see the Spanish cedar wiped with any water or sponge. It might cause staining or other, uh, other things you may not want to see later on. So if you have the time, don't put any cigars in it until it reaches the 96 hour point and 70% and humidity, which again, this is factory set at. So, and I'll, I'll just uh, cap it off with a little bit more about this humidor just real quick. Uh, this particular model has a center console. The front part is the accessories. The rear is for the humidifier. Uh, the left, as you can see, is for cigar boxes. And on the right side, we have double trays of which you can 
on average size you can fit 50 cigars in each tray so you can get 100 on this side and another probably 200 in boxes uh, on the left side and I will make a note here if you don't have any cigar boxes and you're just putting cigars over here we recommend that you put a maybe a large or a couple of empty boxes in here that are closed real tight, real tight because it will take up space and it won't have to humidify so much larger humididors uh, or humidors they adapt to the relative humidity much better when they're at least 50 percent full so it's just a good idea to not have this uh, left side completely empty at all times and uh, other than that this is just made of thick figured cherry wood uh, there's no veneer it's a hundred percent hardwood double hole construction with three eighths inch cedar uh, inside and as you can see we have a, a wenge wood or sometimes we like to use black walnut and the hinges are a handmade brass made by a company called Brusso. And we'll go ahead and uh, close that up and let it finish its seasoning process. And that's about it. Appreciate your time and I uh, hope you enjoy the Maliszewski humidors.